All right, how's it going, you guys? Sam from Otaku back again with another unboxing. This time we are looking at My Hero Academia Season 2 Part 1 Limited Edition. So this is unfortunately another one that looks like it's going to be a little hard to find if you haven't already got a copy on hand as I'm doing this unboxing really late after this has been out. On Funimation's own website, it's listed for the list price of $84.98 with this usually going on sale about $63.74. Um, it is out of stock, like I did say, and on the official website, it's listed for being on back order at the moment. So this is a little slip that has all the technical information in case anybody is interested in that. I know there's a few people out there who do like to see the back. There's that. And then we have a sweet group photo on the end. I actually really like this. This is super cool. All Might on the front. I believe this is the limited edition where they begin doing the trading cards. If you've already seen my Season 3 Part 1 unboxing, you'll see that we got some uh, trading cards in there. I believe it started in this set. So we have the two. Blu-ray and DVD. They're going to both be in the same casing, unlike the previous one we did where it had two separate boxes. And then we have your classic limited edition container of goodies and then probably an art book. Uh, we'll start with this first and we'll see what is in here. So it actually looks like a character guide is going to be my guess. Izuku Midoriya, quirk, hero named Deku, uh, hero named King Explosion something, can't see, just uh, Bakugo, Shoto, a lot of these people just using their name, Engine, Zero Gravity, Pop Off, <laughs> okay, I like that for the name of the quirk. Work Frog, Creation, Hardening, Dark Shadow, Electrification, everybody's favorites. You can tell who the real favorites are when they get the bigger page. Cody, Big Fist, two main people from the other class, Steel, Vines, and then it goes like just background people. Like, look at look at this guy. That is the definition of a background character right there. Just unnoticeable. You wouldn't even know if he was the main character. Oops, just skipped a bunch of pages. I'm going to slowly go through them here. Shiai Hiryu. Um, it's hard to remember... Look at this guy. Manga Fukudashi comic. Oh, I like that. Okay. Oh, there we go. Brainwashing. Huge. This guy's super cool. Zoom. Final score is an event breakdown. Round one. Also course race. So it gives you all the rank. Oh, this is pretty cool. It's kind of like a more in-depth look of what the uh, happened in the obstacle course and all the other ones. Round two. Cavalry battle. It's all stuff you can see in the anime if you watch it, but it is pretty cool to have in the brackets for the tournament. And then some sweet art at the very end. I feel like this is the art that you would see everywhere if you Google My Hero Academia. This one pretty much always came up. And then they really know this is a good piece of art because they are putting it fucking everywhere. So it's there. It's the last page of this book. It's on the goods. They know what they got. I guess this is just mimicking the box. So, you know, that, this gets an excuse. So let's hop into this, and then we will finish with what is inside the Blu-ray slash DVD case. So let's see, uh, what do we have here? Little two My Hero Academia flags. That's pretty cool. This is really neat. Like they're like felt flags. Got one for UA, one My Hero Academia. Very cool. Then we got something else in here. It looks like a headband is gonna be my guess. Um, one zero 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 three two five. Um, you guys, I don't want to embarrass myself here, but I don't know. Is this the adventure chicks? Adventure chicks? Does she have this headband? This is why we got the book. This is why we got the book. Ooh, awkward. She doesn't. What's that headband from, you guys? Is it the headband they had to steal for the event, you guys? Oh, yeah, yeah, it totally is. It totally is. Look, look, look. They got the numbers. Designed for easy removal. Okay. All right, so we know what that is. Done. And then we got a keychain of All Might himself. Let's open this thing up here. Kind of looks like he's really blurry, but that could just be the bag. All right, I couldn't figure out how to open it, so I took a box cutter. Yeah, he's weirdly blurry. That kind of looks like crap, right? Yeah, I don't know about this one. This is a big miss for me. That does not look good. All right, we'll set that aside. Then we got the trading cards. Um, they're super bent. They've probably been through a lot of packaging and things like that. Let's see if there's an easy way to open these. Otherwise, I might have to bend them more. I think if I get a box cutter right in that corner and not scratch it, I could do it. 
All right, I just poked a tiny hole, so that way I can uh, start ripping off the plastic. It's usually all you need to do. So I think this is gonna be most of the main class. Um, Izuku Midoriya, Bakugo Shotoroki, Ochaka Uraraka, Kenya Ida, Tsuyu Asui, I hate this guy. Um, oh, let me make sure you guys can see it. Ejiro Kirishima, Momo Yai, oh, I'm not even gonna give that a shot. Fumikage Tokiyami. And they all have stats on the back as well, so we'll start from the back, and they kind of tell you... We've seen this before. I think we got the villains. In Season 3, Part 1, they were the villains. So this is the first half of Class 1A. So it gives you the same thing that was kind of in the book that we'd already looked at. Uh, their dimensions, birthday, Class 1A, uh, their perk, and their stats. So we'll just move through. I'll pause on each one, and you guys can take a look. Birthday 923. Um, Createe. Uh, I guess they couldn't fit creation on there. That's uh, a little weird. They feel <laughs> well, they they fit all of Sukiyomi, but they didn't want to fit all of Creation. Okay, sure. Red Riot. Okay, ten sixteen. Oh, pretty even stats all the way across the board. Yeah, who's who's surprised by that? Who is surprised by that? No one. All right. Ooh, she's got some good stats. Holy crap! She's only missing power, but she's got some good ass stats. Full marks on cooperativeness. Wow, I feel like his stats are... Okay, his stats are pretty good. His speed is through the roof. I feel like cooperativeness is pretty good too, but I guess uh, they don't think so. Full marks cooperativeness. Full marks technique. Intelligence, only mediocre. December 27th birthday for anybody out there representing. Oh, January 1, 1, 1, 1. Oh, he's got, he's got to be... I wonder if he has the best stats. It's going to be the three main guys. So, I just want to look at their stats. Deku's not close. So Deku's off and running. So it's between Bakugo and uh, Shoto. Who's got the best? Shoto does. He does because his cooperativeness is way down. That's kind of a dumb stat. But that puts him in the lead. Go to the next one. Oh, just about to skip Bakugo. Uh, birthday, 420. Blaze it. Class 1A. And last but not least, Deku, 715, 166. Um... Piss poor stats on all the other ones because, you know, pretty much his quirk makes it powerful. Super cool stuff. I do like the trading cards. I don't have anything against those. The only thing that was pretty bad was the keychain, but uh, I feel like that's just kind of a mess up and it's not supposed to be like that. So open it up and someone can have this. Feel free. Digital copy. All yours. And then we got Shoto Blu-ray 1 episodes 14 through 21. And then we got... Blu-ray 2, episodes 22 through, 20, 22 through 25, uh, DVD 14 through 19, plus extra. So this one, the DVD actually does have extras. I think set one, it didn't have extras on the DVD. And then episodes 20 to 25. So because they split this into two parts. So that makes sense. They can fit much more on the disc because they're not cramming as much of the season on there. So super cool nonetheless. It's totally worth it if you're a big fan of My Hero Academia, which I know there's a lot of people out there who are big fans of My Hero Academia. Um, if you do see this go on sale, which is when I got it, Definitely pick it up, but I will say once again, it's probably going to be a little hard to find one at a decent price because they seem to be out of stock in a lot of places. So if you enjoyed the video, be sure to like and subscribe. It really does help us out. We're a pretty small channel. And if you want to go plus ultra, you go ahead and give us a follow on Twitter. We're at the Otaku to stay updated for when we put out any new videos. That way the YouTube system doesn't forget to push them to you guys. And my name has been Sam. This has been Otaku, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.